Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSet Studio, and welcome back to your 25th Java programming tutorial. So today we're going to be learning about classes. We've already used them, but today we're going to be learning how to integrate programs with multiple classes working together. Um, so you're going to be using this a lot when you're programming uh, an object-oriented programming, an object-oriented program. Sorry, uh, we make things called objects. So classes make up objects so basically we use objects because we want to be able to reuse our code and you'll see why how this is done a little later so i'll stop talking now and we'll just make another class right now so to do that just click on your package right click it uh hit new java class oh i just stuttered there that was weird anyway we'll call it uh tomatoes or something if i spelled that right i don't care i'm not an english major so I hit finish and it makes you this class template right here. So right now we have two separate files which are two separate classes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be using our knowledge of void methods and we're just going to be making a simple um, program that prints out a very simple message uh, from a method in a different class. So just type in public and we have to make it static because we're going to be accessing inside a main method which is static so you have to make a static method and void because we're not returning anything we're just going to be printing something out on the screen so public static void um, print message with open parameters nothing in there nothing too complicated next thing we want to do is we're going to just make a simple message inside our print message method so s out what should we say um, I love macaroni. I don't even know if I spelled that right. And cheese. All right. Um, yeah. So that's it for that class right there. So all we have is just a basic class, um, with a print message statement that is going to be used in this class right here, uh, to print out this method right here. So. In order to link these two classes together, we use something called an object. And an object is basically, I'm not saying it is, I don't want to get chirped uh, by all you major programmers out there, uh, an object is essentially a variable of another class. I said it, okay, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, no it's not, no way, it's not, a, it's not a variable, what are you talking about? But I'm just trying to make it a little simple, it's basically a variable. So to do this, we're just going to take our class name right here, and we're going to say tomatoes. And uh, we're going to name our object. Uh, we're going to name it tomato object. And then we're just going to go is equal to new tomatoes. And with open parameters. So as you guys can see, this is kind of similar to when we made our random object. And it is the exact same thing, it's just we made this class ourselves. So if you guys remember, we made a random number generator by going random r is equal to new random. It's the same thing, it's just, uh, we had to import this. Um, it's the same thing, it's just we made this class right here called tomatoes over here. But we didn't make random. Uh, Java made it, or Oracle, whoever the heck made Java, um, made this class for us. So delete this import and delete this all we need is our tomatoes object so now that we have our tomato object right here we can now access this method inside the tomatoes class so to do that we just go use our tomato object the name that we named it tomato object and we use the dot separator and then what we're gonna do is I think I spelt it wrong yeah I think I spelt it wrong Let's just copy and paste it, whatever. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, it was there. Oh, it was hiding. What? I did not see that there. Okay, whatever. Anyway, it's there. You're going to use your dot separator now. It's not there again. What is that? <laughs> okay, I think that's a glitch or something, but... Okay, whatever. Anyway, all you have to do is you're going to have to take your object name here and you're going to put it down and then use a dot separator 
and then you're going to want to type in print message. And then basically what that's going to do, oh yeah, and by the way, you just got to make this uh, object here static because again, you're accessing it from a static method here um, and you got to make it static. I'll probably never remember to do that. Lucky I have uh, NetBeans to always tell me, hey Anthony, guess what? You forgot to label it as static again, you derp. Anyway, thank God for that. But yeah, so that's all you got to do. Basically what we've done so far is if we ran this, uh, I love macaroni and cheese, that's all it does, but you guys just learned how to use object-oriented programming in a very basic way, but hey, whatever, you know how to do object-oriented programming. It's a very, very tough concept, it's really hard to get your head around, but uh, I promise you, I tr I'll try to make this as easy as possible as I go through object-oriented programming, but you guys have the basics now, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.